Well, communication is very important in the story piece. And at the same time, communication through language is very crucial in understanding the nature of conflict. So in this Module 2, Unit 2 of GST 202, Fundamentals of Peace Studies and Conflict Resolution, we are going to look at language barriers in conflict situation and in conflict resolution. Come on board. In conflict and in conflict resolution. When you create what you think is the perfect message, the possibility always exists that the result of that message we misinterpret the message or find it ambiguous, even not derive any meaning from it. The receiver must also make an effort to receive the intended message, concentration, and even sharing the same field of understanding with you. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain language-based barriers to communication. You should be able to discuss effective use of language in communication and you should be able to be mindful of your communication choices. Messages are open to you, so you must choose the one that is appropriate to the situation and what you intend to communicate. Language based barriers to communication are there are over 450 different languages in use in everyday Nigeria, and that means you cannot know all these languages. And therefore, these different languages constitute the first barrier to communication in Nigeria. The number includes dialects spoken in various regions of the country, and many of them want to understand. So, misunderstanding occur for various or numerous physical, mental, and cultural reasons, which are peculiar to each of these languages. Barriers to communicate are include by passing, indiscrimination, and polarization. By passing means many can be misunderstood. What is said and what is heard and understood by the listener often differ. Such misunderstanding between the sender and the receiver is called by passing. You assume that he has understood you, whereas he has not. By passing usually results from the false belief that each word has only one meaning. If you give one word, I have the belief that people can interpret it and give it different meanings depending on different contexts. How to reduce by passing? Be approachable in your use of language. Be person-minded, not word-minded. That is, take the person you are talking to into consideration. Query to find out if it has been understood and paraphrase for explanation. Be sensitive to context in communicating. Language can shape our attitudes in different ways. Indiscrimination is the neglect of individual differences and the overemphasis of similarities, thinking that, no, you must understand what I've said. Stereotype is another category of uh, events, objects, and people without regard to unique individual characteristics, lumping them together. Indexing points out differences that distinguish between between various members of a group and thus reduces in discrimination. That is, you must index what particular people you are talking to. Language can cause polarization, that is, division. The tendency to view things in terms of extremes, rich or poor, beautiful or ugly, large or small, we and them. Polarization can be destructive and escalate conflicts in different ways. Speak out and avoid the danger of polarization by recognizing the potential for misunderstanding and taking care of those things. Make statements that do not represent nuance extreme. Then, who, who, and all sorts of uh, nuances. Language can be sexist. Men tend to use language to assert status. We are the ones that can do it. Men are the most powerful. Men are the controller. Women at times also use language to establish and maintain social relationships among themselves at the neglect of the men. There are, for example, no singular gender, neutral pronouns in the English language, and therefore this can cause confusion. He, he is often emphasized. Sexual stereotypes and the assumption that the male gender is superior to the female gender 
is characteristic of Zexis language and therefore we must avoid it. How to use language effectively? These are some of the things that you need to take note of. Use accurate language to suit situation. Use vivid language examples. Use of immediate language verbal immediacy. You will understand. You will get me. Come along with me. Use appropriate language that suits every situation. And use metaphorical language. And when you use metaphorical language, make sure it is understood by people who are in that area. Well, now let us do a little self assessment. Examine ways that language can be used or misused. Language can be used to foster cordial relationship by using appropriate words, by not being sexist, by not using stereotype. A language can be misused if you use sexist language, if you use discriminatory language, and also. Thank you for being there. In summary, the ability to use language determines our success in any relationship. Makes communication personal and always allow us to translate our thoughts, feelings, and experiences into meaningful message to our listener, and the listener will be able to decode what we mean. We tend to associate specific words with specific meanings and to take that relationship for granted. This is not good. Competent communicator must therefore ensure that he finds ways to understand and be understood. We have come to the end of Module 2, Unit 2, Language and the Barriers and Postal Communication. Remember to go back to the course material. Remember to participate in the discussion forum and ask questions from the facilitator online. Thank you for being there.